Welcome to Driving Approach. My name is Alexi and you're watching Mechanics Corner. This is just an introductory video first video on the mechanics corner. I just want to go through the breakdown of what this rubric or show is going to be all about and in general we just have six categories engine, engine management, drive lines, steering suspension and brakes, electrical and uh, HVAC and air maintenance. I have a much better breakdown of it. I'll show it like this on the iPad but I'll edit it with a much better picture of those six categories and they all have different color and uh, an emblem that I, I drew. <laughs> and as you can see, the engine is red here and engine management is purple, drive lines is blue, SSB is green, electrical yellow, and last one, HVAC and air maintenance is pink. There will be many videos on each category, starting from the basics, working up to you know more complex details of the particular category, and this is how the mechanics corner is going to look like. Okay, so for our mechanics corner. For the introduction I decided to go a bit farther into each category and just give you a bit more understanding what each category is gonna make up. So the first one, the engine, it's pretty much all your regular engine components so you will be talking about the crankshaft, the camshaft, all the valves, the valve timing, ignition timing, superchargers, turbochargers, air fuel ratio, just all of that. So it's gonna be valves, Pistons, firing order, we also will have camshaft, crankshaft. So that's pretty much the engine category and moving on to engine management, this is pretty much all the management that the engine needs to work efficiently with the lowest exhaust emissions as possible. So that's where you have your PCV, EVAP, EGR system, all of that. Um, so let's write that down. So PCV, EGR, EVAP. But it's also your ignition system, your starting system. So just adding on to PCV, EGR and EVAP in engine management, we'll have the starting system. Ignition. And of course you also have your lubrication system and your cooling and so forth so it's going to be all the systems that are needed to be in place for the engine to perform at its best next category is the drive lines and it's pretty much anything after the engine so it's the lines of the torque, lines of the power created by the engine. So anything after the transmission, or transaxle, whatever the car has, uh, going to drive shaft, drive axles, differential, stuff like that. So diff, drive shaft, axles stuff like that and 
It, we also have the some joints, universal joints, CV joints, so U joints, as constant velocity joints, and all that stuff. So that would be the drive lines. The next category, the SSB, steering, suspension, and brakes. Obviously, we'll have all those three components. We'll be talking about steering assist, electric, power. You also have your tires. The tires would be here, rims, EBS. It's obviously brakes. Steering. Suspension. It's also the body of the vehicle and the frame. The structural integrity of the whole car, pretty much. The body and frame. Next is the electrical, and this is pretty much your, you know, your ECM, all your relays, switches, solenoids. Also, the electrical system pretty much applies to each one of those sections because everything is becoming more and more controlled electronically. Many and many things are becoming powered up electronically, like the you know fuel pumps, all the injectors, electrical steering. So it's becoming less and less hydraulic. Many things are becoming more and more electric. And also we are trying to control and measure everything electronically as well. So this is going to be all your relays, switches, solenoids, obviously your battery, the charging system, charging system, because it's going to be charging the battery, you'll have the alternator, fuses, so your fuse box, fuses, anywhere where you can put your multimeter and measure for current or voltage. And uh, our last system is the HVAC and air maintenance. So it's pretty much your air conditioning and uh, heating in the car for the passengers and the driver. Heating. And of course your air management, so that's the air that goes into the car for the driver and the passengers. Uh, so air maintenance, yeah, so like a, an air filter that you're going to be changing for the cabin would be in this category where the air filter for the engine would actually be in the engine category, obviously. So here we have the breakdown of the six categories that um, we're gonna have on the mechanics quarter. Hopefully you're looking forward to all the videos related to each one of them and thank you for watching Driving Approach. My name is Alexi and uh, see you in the next video.